Welcome back. The U.S. Open Cup final is tomorrow night. LAFC taking on Sporting Kansas City, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. You can watch that on Apple TV Plus. And ahead of the big final, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome back one of our dear friends of this show, Sporting Kansas City's captain, Johnny Russell. Johnny, how are you? It's so good to see you. No, I'm good. How are you guys? Good to see you. We're fantastic. Um, all right, let's talk about this uh, this final tomorrow. Johnny, I know it, it's been a, a tough season for, for Sporting Kansas City, but when you have a chance to win a trophy, you know, it just kind of it kind of reinvigorates. It, 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 gives, it gives the team a sense of purpose. What, what's the mentality of the locker room right now heading into this final tomorrow? Um, exactly that. This season... Pretty much like last season as well, even though we had that that run that got us back in it after League's Cup. Um, you know, it hasn't been good enough. Uh, we know that. It's down to the down to the guys and the players that have been here that, you know, we haven't been good enough on a consistent basis to to challenge in the way that we would like to. Um, that being said, we've got a cup final. Um, and disappointing result on the weekend after you know, such a good performance midweek. So it's it's a sort of story of our season, the inconsistencies. Uh, but I think everyone's mentality, the message going forward is like we've got a we've got a one off game on Wednesday against a very strong side, a side that I always say who are, are one of the best in the league, if not the best. Um definitely up there with Columbus for me. Um and you've got a one off game to go and win a final and be and be part of history at this this club. Um, something that you might never get the chance to do again. I've been here for seven years now, and this is my my first cup final. We, my first year, we got to the the Western Conference final, but in terms of in terms of cups, this is my first one. So, just trying to you know, sort of relay that message to the younger guys as well um, that you know you don't get many shots at this, so you have to take it. Johnny, what what are your thoughts on the this year's U.S. Open Cup? I, it feels like maybe it's a little watered down, whatever, but you guys have taken care of business. But as a whole, how important do you think this competi competition is? And and you know, just in the across the landscape, where do you find this U.S. Open Cup to date? I mean, there's been a lot of talk about it, obviously a lot of teams who are not being involved in it, but at the end of the day, it's still a trophy. Um, you know, you're not going to take that away from from a team that wins it, uh, no matter no matter what. Um, I feel that all teams should be involved. I think we were one of the, the teams very strong on that from the beginning, that we wanted to be a part of it. We, we felt that all other teams should be a part of it as well. And it's, I don't know, just maybe the way... I grew up, um, the way I came through, cup competitions were always special for me. And, and I feel that the US Open Cup is is like that for a lot of people here as well. Um, you know, a chance for USL teams to get involved as well. And, you know, how many times have we seen big upsets? We've been involved in, in a couple. Um, you've seen a couple this year as well. So I think that's what makes the cup so special because it is just a one-off game and anything can happen and yeah it's something that I've always wanted to perform and perform well um, and like I said it's it's another trophy uh, for this club uh, that's that's the aim that's what we're looking for uh, we we've had some difficult games along the way um, but games that we've came through came through and and showed that you know we we seriously we seriously want to win this competition, so we've got a we've got a shot to do that uh, tomorrow, and you know I can't wait. Uh, Johnny, uh, look at this game, and it looks like you're going to be lining up against a former teammate and Ilya Sanchez. How do you think that plays into it? Do you think you get an advantage? Do you think he might have an advantage against you? Um, no, I don't think it gives anyone an advantage. Obviously, we know Ilya so well, and and he knows us, so. I don't think it, it gives anyone a, an upper hand one way or the other. Uh, we know how good he is, his quality. Um, and it's, it's, he's someone that we're going to have to keep quiet. But you look throughout that team and there's a lot of guys you're going to have to keep quiet. So, <laughs> uh, no, he's, listen, we, we know how good Ely is. 
it'll be good to see him. Um, you know, really close to you, Lee. But hopefully, it's a it's a disappointing night for him and cause him a little bit of upset. Johnny, I've been there, and Charlie have both been there as players playing in the U.S. Open Cup final, and I'm, I'm a big believer that. Each previous round prepares you for something much later on, especially as you get to the final. Looking at your guys' journey, you've been to two extra time matches. You've gotten the victory at the death of one of them. How does that prepare you guys for what's to come in the biggest stage in the U.S. Open Cup final against LAFC? Yeah, I think it does. Um, like you said, we that could have been an upset, that game. Uh, it was looking like it for, for a long period of time. Uh, and then Ireland gets the late winner, and then we get the we get the storm delay as well. When we're down to Dallas, we come out a completely different team. So I actually think that helped us. Um, and then we looked we looked really good in the last round. So I think you can take something from from every game. Um, and that we've we kind of like our season. We've kind of been up and down recently, the last couple of league games leading into this, but I think we need to try and emulate what we've done against Colorado. Um, the way we looked that night, I think if if we can get to that and perform like that, then I, we're definitely in with a, a very strong chance of winning. Johnny, you have been sensational in this competition. You have nine goal contributions in 11 career Open Cup appearances. The only player in club history with at least four goals and four assists in this competition. What is it? What John, is it about, Johnny the, uh, about Johnny Russell <laughs> and the U.S. Open Cup uh, that just, you know, you kind of find that that extra level? Um, I, you know what? I don't know. It was kind of like that when I played in, in Scotland as well. I actually had a really good cup record as well. So I don't know. Maybe what I said earlier is just something. There's just a magic about the cup, I feel. Um and um, yeah, I, I enjoy, I enjoy playing in it. It's like you said, we we start out every year. I know everyone says it, but we start out to to win um, every competition we're in. We know it's not going to work out like that, but that's the mindset. That's the goal. Um, and maybe because it's a lot shorter to get there as well, it kind of it kind of helps. But no, I've I've always grown up like that. Even now, watching cup games. I don't know, there's, there's just something different about them for me. Um, and I've got a pretty good record that hopefully I can I can continue to add to um, tomorrow. Johnny, uh, you mentioned a couple of times about Scotland. You've been in the U.S. now for seven years. When you go back home, what do they think is the most American thing you do? <laughs> uh, oh, I think there's a couple of words that have slipped into my vocab and... My friends are very quick to remind me when I go home. Uh, I, you know what? I, you know, I'll tell you what. Aircon. I need aircon back home. <laughs> so, uh, that thing's a game changer, especially over here in the summer. How often do you need an air conditioner in Scotland? Is that like three weeks? Uh, three days, if you're lucky, to be honest. <laughs> it's... It's not really needed, to be honest, in, in Scotland. I've, all year I've been speaking to my family and friends and <laughs> they've just been complaining about the weather, the rain, uh, while well, I'm sitting at the pool. So it's, it's been pretty good. Johnny, here at CBS Sports Colossal Network, we get a, just the, the chance to cover the Old Firm Derby and talking with one of our colleagues, Ian Joy, he's a big advocate for Scottish football. Which side of the Old Firm are you on and what's kind of been your history with that that competition and that that rivalry? I'm on the good side, so I'm Celtic, <laughs> um, and, and it's been it's been very good for us recently. I can't complain. Uh, but no, it's that is it's so hard to put any words. I've been to so many of them, home like home and away. Um, it's. It's very difficult to explain unless you actually get to go and experience one of those games. Uh, just the, the insane passion, the noise. And then, like I said, the, the victories have been pretty sweet for us recently. So um, Yeah, I'm with you, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Celtic, Celtic knows around, how to so. do it. They know how to exactly. do it right. Uh, I got to that stadium. Just, they're monsters right now. They've just got a, yeah. a crazy relentlessness and you know just 
mentality to go out week after week, just expected to win games, but win them um, comfortably. And no, if anyone ever gets a chance to go and see that game, I highly, highly recommend that. Yeah, that's bucket list stuff. Yeah, it's bucket list. Right there. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, before before we let you go, I have a very, very important question. I just want to know if you guys do happen to bring home the Lamar Hunt trophy, are you getting a tattoo of the trophy? Do you have room? I said to you I would get one for the MLS Cup. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? There's room. There's definitely, there'll be definitely be something. Okay. Uh, we just need to go and win it first. That's, uh, that's what we need to do. That you do. Ah, oh, Johnny Russell, uh, thank you so much for, for taking the time to join us. It is always a pleasure catching up with you. We wish you the best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Anytime, guys. It's a pleasure. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. Uh, more friends joining us.